Here comes page four. Um, given, I've got four points here. They're asking if line AB and CD are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. That means this concept is coming down to slope. So if I want the slope for AB, I would want to use the points A and B. Slope formula, if you remember, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. 5 minus 3 is 2. This reduces to a negative 3 or negative 3 over 1. Let's do it again. I want slope of CD. So I'm going to use these two points. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. 6 minus 4 is 2. 4 plus 2 is 6. Reduces to 1 third. Are 1 third and negative 3 over 1, are they the same? Nope, so they're not parallel. In order to be perpendicular, they'd have to be opposites. One's positive, one's negative. Reciprocals, are they the flipped version of each other? They are. The answer is perpendicular. Here, I have same side interior angles, which means they shoot out to 180 degrees. 180 minus 133 leaves me with 47 degrees. They want me to find the measure of angle D at. The only way to do that is to create an equation. If I have alternate interior angles, that means my angles are going to be congruent. So I want it to set 8x minus 34 equal to 5x plus 2. Move all the x's to the left side where the most of the x's are. Add 34 to the other side. Apply both sides by 3. And be careful, the answer is not 12. That's what x is. They want to find the measure of angle D, E, F. That's right here. Instead of 5 times x, I'm going to do 5 times 12 plus 2. 62 degrees is my answer. These are straight off of the test, by the way. I want to find measure of angle A, B, C. That's this one right here. So I want to use this. And I can use whatever I want. I'm just going to use this linear pair right here. 4x plus 22 plus 70 equals 180. I could have done my corresponding angles here. That would have actually been easier. 4x plus 22 would have to equal 5x. So let's just, hopefully this works out the same. 4x plus 92 equals 180. Minus 92, that's 4x equals 88. Divided by 4, x is 22. Over here, if I would have taken 4x from both sides, I would have been down to 22. Sorry, I didn't show you that. But they want to know angle A, B, C, so i got to take 22 and plug it in. 4 times 22, plus 22, 110 degrees. 
here, I can either set up these vertical angles as equal or my corresponding angles. I think I'm going to go vertical. 2x minus 135 equals 75, but both equations would have been correct. Add 135 to the other side. Uh, what is that? 2, 10? X is 105. And then I got to find G, D, E, which is right here. And that would be, I need to do 105 minus 30, leaves me with 75 degrees. I believe that's page four.